let's get into look number two. I am really excited because I'm loving this color story so much and also it's such a beautiful day today that I can't wait to do my makeup and like spend time outside, go for a walk and just enjoy the day. So we're gonna start off again by priming with two different primers and today I want to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've had this forever and I rarely use it and I also want to use my MAC Paint Pot. So let's compare these two just for fun. So I'm going to take my MAC Paint Pot on my bad eye this time and then we're gonna use the Shadow Insurance on my good eye. So I definitely feel like there's a chance that my shadow insurance is old because it had a lot of like liquidy stuff coming out of it so I couldn't use the first like squirt. So I don't know if that just means I haven't used it in a while or if it's actually gone old but we're gonna try it anyway. So I actually have a plan today and I want to do a halo eye and like I said in yesterday's video I want to work with the dark green, the brown and this green right here so I think that's what we're gonna do. I might pull in a little bit of this purple as well but to start off, I'm going to put... What was I gonna do? I think I'm gonna put this brown shade in my inner and outer corner and then I'm going to use the green in the crease. So I guess I'll start off with the crease color because I think this one is going to build pretty nicely on top of that from what I remember. So let's go in with this dark green now and put that in my crease. And this is Evergreen by Sydney Grace. So let's start off first on the Too Faced Primer side. And I'm just packing this all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. And this shadow is just not wanting to stick on this primer for some reason. Okay, so I got it down. I just had to really press it on there. I'm not loving how my brush feels on my eye on top of this primer. I know that's a weird thing to say, but... I feel like I've just realized I don't like the silicone-y, slippery type primers that dry down because this one reminds me a bit of the Milani primer as well and I'm just, I don't know. Same with the two, or the Urban Decay one. I feel like all of those are sort of like, you know, the same thing and I don't know if I like them. Alright, let's try it on the MAC Paint Pot side now. And I guess it doesn't stick that good in the beginning on this side either, so I have to just pack it on. Which I don't really have any problem doing that as long as it doesn't end up looking patchy in the end. So I think that looks pretty even on both sides and I want to say it applied pretty much the same way on both sides as well. And so keep in mind, this is the first time I've tried this shadow. I haven't tried any of the Sydney Grace like really dark mattes, I don't think. Could be wrong. I don't remember which ones I used in my first impression, but I don't think I used this shadow. But I really like how it looks once it's applied. But it's definitely a bit of a drier formula than the other ones that I've tried. But like I said, I don't have an issue with that as long as they look good after I'm able to put them on my eye. And I feel like this one looks pretty good. So next up, let's go in with the dark brown now. And I want to say this is by Sydney Grace as well. Actually, no, I think this is from Cleona. Yeah, this is Hibernate by Cleona. So I'm going to use this shadow now in my inner and outer part of my lid. And I'm not going to connect it in the middle because I just prefer not doing that with my eye shape. I just find it to be a bit more flattering. And I also remember really liking this shadow and I think this is actually like if I were to pick out a brown for myself like this would be the kind of brown that I feel like I would gravitate towards because I just really like the undertone of this. And I've said this before but like I don't really mind brown eyeshadows as long as they are together with something colorful. I just don't like them on their own because I just find them to be really boring. And I just find that my eyes just pop more when I use a little bit of something that has color in it. The shadow is so pigmented. Does anyone else struggle to do halo eyes and like blend out this little part here in the inner part of the eye? I feel like mine always gets really streaky and it takes me forever to blend out. But like the outer part here kind of just blended itself. But I always struggle to blend out the inner part of my halo eyes. And honestly, my best advice for blending out very small areas is just to use a small brush. I mean, I know that sounds pretty obvious, but it's definitely the easiest way to just have control over where you're blending so that you're not spreading out the shadow that you're trying to blend out too much because that's when it starts to get muddy. 
but if you can keep the shadow in one place and just blend right over the top, it usually turns out a lot better. So I think I also want to go in with a little bit of this uh, lighter green shade. I think this was Green Apple by Cine Grays. No, by Luxie. So Green Apple by Luxie. And I'm going to take that out to just slightly run right across of where that dark green is in my crease. I'm just slightly running that over here because I just want to bring in a little bit more of a lighter color. And also just to help blend out that green a bit. And I'm also taking a little bit of that dark green and just running that right above the brown shade and through my crease. And so far I'm not really noticing any difference in how my shadows are applying on top of either of these primers. So I guess the Too Faced primer is still working pretty good. Alright, so now that I have this done, I'm going to go in with my Halo Eye shade and I'm going to use this beautiful shimmery green, which has some brown on it for some reason. So this is Celebrate by Sydney Grace. I know I used this in my first look too, but obviously I want to use it again because it's beautiful. So I'm just going to plop that right in the middle. And this is turning into a much more grungy look than I was envisioning when I first started this, but that's okay because I feel like the first look that we did was very summery, so it's kind of nice to, you know, have two different kind of looks. So I'm just fading this out everywhere. I don't want there to be any sharp lines. I'm also sort of pulling it into my crease, but that's optional. I do really like how this is looking though, so I think for my lower lash line I was thinking I wanted to do the purple, but now I'm not so sure anymore. I kind of think I do want to do the purple. I'm not sure how well that's going to go with it, but if I put the light pink in the inner corner, I think that's going to tie it together. So I'm going to take this purple right here, which was from Cleona as well. It's called Borealis. And I'm just going to put this all the way across my lower lash line. Okay, so for the inner corner, I was thinking I wanted to do this pink, but then I saw the blue, and then I got confused. But I think I'm just going to do the pink, because I feel like the pink is just going to tie in this look a little bit better, and I did use this quite a bit in the first look, so I'm going to take this middle shade, which I'm pretty sure was from ColourPop. I swear I never remember names of shadows or where they're from when they are singles. And this is Prowlin, and I was right, it's from ColourPop. And we're just going to put that in the inner corner, also connecting it down to the lower lash line. So I think this is going to be it. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like when it's all together, when I have some liner, some mascara on, because that always pulls the looks together so much more. So. What should I do in my waterline? I'm thinking I want to use my Marc Jacobs pencil, which I have not used in forever. And this is in the shade Mist Me. And it's just a very kind of lilac-y shade, and I feel like it's going to go with my lower lash line. Okay, so let me put on some liner and mascara real quick, and then we can figure out something to do with lips. I, I'm kind of stumped. I don't really know what to do with lips for this look. So I'm going to think about it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyes are done, and I think for lipstick I found one that I want to use, and this is Queen Bee by Too Faced. So it's kind of like a mauve pink, purple, mauve pink something, purple. Is it a mauve? I don't know. I'm so confused right now. But that's what I want to try to use, so let's put this on and see if it goes with the look. I like this lipstick with this look. I think that looks pretty good. So I guess that is going to sum up these two looks with this palette inspiration. Now let me know what you want to see next because I do have a couple of ideas. You guys recommended me to do the Northern Lights and some also said like space themed and I like both of those. I think that could be really really cool with like some blacks and like some really bright fun pops of colors. So let me know which one was your favorite. I think for me I want to say the first look was my favorite because glitter and I don't know I just really like that color combination so thank you so much for watching this as always don't forget to like the video and if you are not already subscribed to my channel I would love it if you did so and became part of my family and hopefully I will see you all in my next video bye